I kind of think of myself as a discoverer of nature's secrets in a way. The nature's secrets are quite exotically fantastic things. I have to know why things work. Coming into my weird and wonderful world of technology and that kind of neat stuff. It's a bit of a squeeze, you know. By the time you get everything working and fired up, you're pretty well exhausted from climbing over things. And I got complaints from the neighbors across the street that I open and their doors and by themselves and that kind of thing when I'm doing the experiments. So it's uh, lucky they haven't come around with torches like in the classical Frankenstein movie and tried to burn me out. We have here a nice old uh, machine gun sitting here on the floor. Keep the pirates out. And many times I like to sort of work on experiments with some of this uh, surplus equipment. My main interest has been a lot of um, physical effects such as anti-gravitational research, time distortions, and power sources. Finding things like gravimetric stresses from the moon, bits of zero-point energy, and um, it's finding things like heat, vibration, and other things. It's, I would safely say it's an energy scavenging unit. care less what they, anybody thinks. I, I don't care. Everybody has their right to their opinions, so if they think I'm a flying nutcase, cool, that's all right. I like my freedom more so than being tied down. I've been offered so many jobs, but no, I, I prefer my freedom where I am in charge, even if it's being dirt poor. The idea occurred to me about the ancients working with uh, Egyptian batteries. So I came up with this dirt cheap idea of common minerals treated in a certain way that produce um, endless electricity. It's called petrol electrical effect. Okay, this one's got a lot of silicate, different types of exotic silicates in it. It's quite simple. It's, um, you're grinding up rocks in that and they turn into small platelets, which conforms to the Casimir effect, where you have energy between two little metal plates. Here. 